Well, um, I've just started testing these HC12 um, radio links. And um, what I've got here is the board I had before, except uh, because I didn't want to drill this box, I've just clamped the necessary wires uh, under the lid. And I've got a battery here which is powering it, um, which will power it for about 10 hours, no problem. I've got the uh, uh, sat nav connected there, and then uh, this thing is an HC12. which I've put into a little black uh, potting box about the size of a matchstick. Very awkward thing to solder in, inside there, but uh, it will do for the time being. So this equipment could all be in the field, uh, attached to a boat or whatever. And then over here I have my laptop, which is connected by this USB cable to the other HC12 which I have not put in a potting box because I couldn't be bothered and the signals you should be able to see or at least on the received data side I've only connected up one side of the, of the data is, is coming across there so basically it's going from uh, that HC12 there to that one there and then on to what is just a terminal emulator and we can prove that that is working because If you look at pitch, which is the one the first uh, data item that comes up under under compass CMP pitch, if I now see the pitch is now twenty eight, thirty two, forty two back to naught. Now of course that's all very well but uh, the real point of this uh, extraordinary Heath Robinson uh, setup is that I'm going to take this equipment into the field uh, and uh, strap it to a, a, a fence post and then I'm going to walk off with this equipment and that into the distance and see how far it works. So I will get back to you later. Right. Well, here I am in the field. And um, I was going to use this uh, camcorder that I normally use. But when I got here, I discovered there was no SD card in it. So that's bloody brilliant, isn't it? Um, what I've got is got the laptop here with one of these uh, HC12s and then the other one is in the hedge to the left of this path about uh, 30 yards to the left of this path and about to my head height and I don't know how far I've walked but we'll find out when I get back and it's my opinion that the uh, HC12 has stopped receiving reliably, so I'm not going to walk towards it until uh, it starts receiving reliably. Well, I think it's, re it's receiving reliably now, and I'll see if I can film this. This is where we are at the moment. 
it's, Im it's impossible to see the laptop properly in, in this light, but uh, believe me, it's uh, receiving reliably at this point. Well, here we are at the uh, almost where I started. This is the footpath, and around there, static HC12 is about there. We'll go and see. Now we definitely can see it. There. Strapped to a tree. Well, there it is. With the, the HC12. A box of tricks and a battery hanging in uh, clear space. And uh, I was walking over there. Well, it's bloody hot out there and I've just returned from uh, my field trip testing the HC12. Well, uh, before starting out, I configured these two transceivers uh, in the way shown here. Um, I set the serial line to 9600 board, uh, which is the slowest speed that seemed to me to be sensible. The slower the speed, they say, the more sensitive the receiver and the longer the range. Uh, at 9600 board, the RF data rate is 15,000 bits per second, giving a receiver sensitivity of minus 112 dBm. I set the frequency channel to 3, which equates to 434.2 MHz, which is in the middle of the band for which uh, British users are allowed to emit uh, 10 milliwatts. I've set the uh, power to plus 11 dBm, which equates to 12.6 milliwatts. There's no exact setting for 10 milliwatts. And I've left the overall mode as FU3. What that stands for, I don't know, but I haven't changed it. And uh, the overall result is that we had reliable transmission over a distance, straight line distance of 170 meters, which is not particularly impressive, but it's what I got using this uh, 10 milliwatt uh, power level in these circumstances. I'm not a great uh, RF expert, but uh, I presume that this is a, a helical um, antenna operating in uh, normal mode. Um, presumably we could get a better antenna than this, which might give a greater range. Uh, there is a U.FL socket there, which, uh, to which we could plug an external antenna if uh, that was a good idea. Or we could operate at 458 megahertz uh, when we're uh, allowed to emit uh, 100 milliwatts rather than just 10 milliwatts, and that obviously would make some difference, I presume. Well, that's all.